there was no other person like her. You know, there's there's no other person even could come kind of close to who she was. She was a standard for living well and being proud and taking who you are and owning who you are and using it to the fullest. Cher, Oprah Winfrey, and Gail King reflect on Tina Turner's life and legacy. News broke that the music icon died at 83, and it didn't take long for her famous friends to start sharing touching tributes, like Cher. I thought, you know, I need to put this time in here into our friendship so that she knows that we haven't forgotten her, so we kind of all took turns going and spending time with her. Cher called into MSNBC's The Beat with Ari Melber and opened up about her recent visits with Tina. She fought this sickness for such a long time and she was so strong but towards the end I know that she told me once she said I'm really ready you know I just don't want to put up with this anymore. Oprah and Gail echoed that on CBS Mornings. I went to, gone to visit her in the hospital in 2019 and she had said to me then that she actually was ready to go with the, meaning ready to leave the planet and uh, I expected then that that was going to be the last time that I saw her. Her husband, Erin Bach, literally willed her to live. Tina married Erwin Bach, a music producer, in 2013 after 27 years together. She was 16 years his senior. I found him quite attractive and I made it known to him. And I wasn't thinking about age. Erwin is quite conservative and I'm still quite youthful for my age. So there's a, there was a meeting point of where we uh, communicate in that way. Prior to that, the singer had a tumultuous relationship with Ike Turner. The two were married from 1962 to 1978. I tried to get out a few times and I didn't succeed. I felt trapped, but I wanted too much more and I was not going to let anything take that away from me at that stage. When I first knew her, she was still with Ike and that was kind of a very strange um, it's very strange to see her with Ike and to see her afterwards. And and I was so thrilled because afterwards she was so free and you could just see her like being able to take a big breath. Once she left the abuse, she be she she became a clarion call of triumph for other women. I'm proud to, to be able to have, you know, call her call her a friend, but I would have been happy just being a groupie. Yes. Oprah appeared in the 2021 HBO documentary, Tina, about the Grammy winner's life. I got the spirit. It's no different than being in a church where you are moved and stirred to the point where you can feel it inside yourself. And on Tuesday, the TV legend penned a lengthy essay about the impact Tina had on her life. Writing in part, I am a better woman, a better human, because her life touched mine.